Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's. Here we've got an Audi A1 1.4 TFSI S-Line Sportback S-Tronic finished in Mythos Black metallic paint. All the wheels and tyres are in very good condition. These are 17 inch 10 spoke design alloys. At the back, even though it is a small city car, you do get a decent sized boot. It's not the biggest boot in the world, but it is a fairly generous size for the size of the car. And the back floor, uh, sorry, the boot floor will drop down a level if you need any extra depth in there. And the back seats will fold down if you need any extra space as well. This car has got MOT until the 10th of the 11th, 2022, and was last serviced on the 9th of the 11th, 2021. So inside um, interior with S-Line branding on the seats, um, they're very comfortable seats. They've got nice big bolsters on the side and on the base as well to keep you in place. And that continues to the back of the car with the exception of the central seat which is just leather up front we have your rev counter on the left your speed on the right and your digital screen in the center so we have an onboard computer um, which can show various different things so you've got your time you've got uh, your fuel range average mpg average uh, speed things like that on there you've also got an efficiency program which goes into a bit more detail what's using your energy you also have a digital speedo which I personally prefer using um, but everyone has their own preferences and you've still got that scroller at the bottom so you can have your fuel range on there for example as well. And then you also have a reduced display which just basically turns the screen off. Moving on to the central screen um, we have SD card based sat nav which is a nice little extra from new. Not a lot of the Air ones do have this as it is an optional extra um, so it is nice to have that. Very easy system to use. Um, you've got various different selections at the bottom um, so you can put your destination straight back in uh, you can zoom in and zoom out um, it's a fairly easy system to use nice to get used to um, easy to get used to and um, it's a good system really you also got um, live traffic updates as well um, which are in the sort of surrounding area I'm not sure what the distance on the um, traffic info is but um, is quite a quite a large range you've also got telephone so you've got Bluetooth for phone and music and speaking of music you've got various different sources you can have so you've got Bluetooth uh, you've got SD you've got CD uh, and you've got Audi multimedia as well and then we have your radio so you've got DAB FM AM radio there as well also got your uh, sound settings and you've got your car settings on here. So in the car settings, you've got Audi Drive Select, so you've got Efficiency Auto and Dynamic Driving Modes. Uh, efficiency, fairly self-explanatory, you've got the most efficient driving mode, uh, best used on long journeys on the motorway and things like that. Um, auto, the car will judge how you're driving um, and what sort of surfaces and things it thinks you're on and adapt to that. And Dynamic is your sporty setup. So you've got a sharper throttle response and slightly heavier steering, um, so it gives a more well, sporty feel um, in the entirety of the car really uh, and then you've also got your systems in the bottom left so you're servicing and checks um, so you can keep an eye on when your next service is due whether that be miles or time constraint uh, you will get a notification close to the time to say that it's nearly time for a service um, but if you want to keep an eye on it that is just on there as well moving down we have the engine start stop and your hazard lights and we have your CD player just up here, the SD slots, that one is used for the sat nav, that's a sat nav card. And then you've got a spare one if you want to stick some music on an SD card and plug that in. We've also got your shortcut buttons and your swivel wheel for the infotainment system. You've got these four corners on here, which relate to the four corners on the screen. Um, so when they're up, it means you've got more options, basically more screens available. And we have your volume controls and the, the track skip as well. We have a single zone climate control um, to fairly basic, uh, usual. You've got your temperature, your fan speed, and your directional control as well, which I'm just gonna pop on me because it's quite cold. Um, 
moving down we have uh, your rear heated window your stability control and your shortcut for the drive select so you can scroll through the drive select options um, without having to go through the main menu and then we have a 12 volt socket down here a couple of cup holders um, an S-Tronic gearbox with perforated leather grip um, which comes with the S-Line uh, sorry the S-Line uh, package um, we have a standard drive mode and you've also got a sporty setup for the gearbox so in the sports mode it will let the car rev a bit higher before it changes gear and keep it in the optimum power band for performance whereas the standard drive mode um, is set up more for efficiency um, than sportiness uh, we've got a proper handbrake rather than electric handbrake which I personally prefer um, but again everyone has their own um, preferences but me personally I like a proper handbrake we have S-Line steering wheel as well again with perforated leather on either side um, for better grip and a better feel you've got your multifunction controls on the left hand side for this screen in front which is you've got a scroller you've got your menu button and you've got your left and right tabs as well um, so with the left and right tabs you do have your media or radio tab there um, your Bluetooth and your sat nav um, so it will show you the name of the road when you are on a road we're currently underground so it doesn't actually pick up on a road uh, when you do have a route set it will show you next direction on there however when you don't have a route set like currently it's just a compass it shows your direction on the right hand side you've got your volume controls and your voice activation with your special character so the special character can be changed in the settings um, to switch between radio and media for example or turn sat nav announcements on or off things like that there's a few presets available for that you've also got flappy paddles if you prefer a manual style of driving also got cruise control which is another um, not well quite a rare thing on the on the air ones um, because that's an optional extra usually and uh, not a lot of people actually expect that you also got automatic wipers and then your light toggle is down here and you have heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors as well um, another nice little feature is this uh, puddle light which I think you will be able to see on here um, so you've got an Audi puddle light which is quite nice especially in the dark it lights up very well again in the back you do have the cloth and leather interior leather in the central seat and um, cloth in the doors as well um, the, there is a decent amount of space not the biggest space in the world but um, the driver's seat is pushed all the way back by the way just so I could get a view of the front um, but it's enough to carry a couple of passengers in the back this car will come with six months gold cover warranty which can be extended for as little as £199 for an extra six months we also have a range of finance options available so if finance is something you're looking for then we can help you out with that as well if you need any more information on this car or any of the cars we have in stock please go to draytons.co.uk thank you